Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Carried Away, and let's get it out of the way. Okay, see what I did there. 2,000 likes on this episode, we'll have another one tomorrow. How about that? Thank you for the tremendous support, I appreciate it as always. We're going to fly into the campaign here. I haven't even thought about what level we're doing next. I'm pretty excited to play because I've got a hot cup of tea here. <laughs> this is going to be a tea episode. I'm going to have some sips in between uh, doing this level. Let's start off with a ski lift. Pretty regular looking level. It's a red. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. And speaking of a regular looking level, well that doesn't look very regular to me at all. <laughs> and that blue star makes things extra difficult, doesn't it? Now we know we can't just put a beam through like that. So in order to get it to go over there, how do we pull that off? How do we pull that off indeed? I'm thinking, just off the top of my head, check this out. <laughs> Can you see where I'm going with it? Like, oh, and it needs to actually be supported across to that one as well. So, how about that? Would that actually work? I mean, we can give it a try. So you would go... I guess it would probably, knowing this game... Hmm, we've seen them hit the roof before, haven't we? So maybe that won't work. We'll soon find out. And actually, we could possibly use that there to go to the next spot. Then put one there. Then we've got to go above the rock. Right, so I reckon I reckon here what you need to be doing is making another thing like that, right? So we're just getting the basic shapes in. We'll worry about everything else later. Now, that needs to be higher, clearly. But let's see what happens here. <laughs> it breaks straight away. I think it's breaking because it's going through there. Now, here we're really stretching, but if we put yet another one of these connections over here, and I've got to grab it and come all the way back. Grab it like a rabbit. Right, let's go around. Do that. <laughs> this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that that didn't break immediately, but it broke pretty quickly, right? All of the tension going there kind of makes a lot of sense. Let's hi, let's select the wood. Let's drag it out a little bit. Drag it out again. Connect those together. That's how we reinforce. I've also found that you should just delete the original beam as well, because uh, the stress is still on that one until it breaks. So then the stress has been diverted somewhere else, unsurprisingly. So same strategy again. Uh, do that. Delete the original beam. And it will probably just get diverted somewhere else again. Yep. And I can see exactly where. It's this one. At some point, I'm going to have to give up doing this, aren't I? I'm going to have to realise, hey, this ain't going to work. Okay, there we are. Is that enough? It looks so awful. Right, I think we need to rethink this one, peeps. Mmm, that is some tasty tea. Some tasty tea. I'm enjoying this. But uh, if we look at what I built, there's some obvious problems here. I think this thing really should have been like the bottom side on the top. So there was a proper structure from here across to that point, And then this should have dangled below it. But, you know, we're just going to go with the flow here. And I keep reinforcing things. And it kind of looks like it's on its way to victory. This bit up the top here, though, we're going to have a serious problem with, I reckon. So here comes the first rider. Able to get on the swing. Okay, goes up here. And then gets a bit of a swoosh forward. And wobbling very much. Almost going head over heels. <laughs> But making the way up steadily. Now this bit's going to be interesting because... Yeah. Ow. Ow. That looks very painful. We're dragging across his body. <laughs> and actually... Wait. Did that guy survive? <laughs> You've made it to the top facing backwards. Congratulations. And you're going down the slope back. Wait a minute. Why is this working? Why is this working? This shouldn't... It works for each run. <laughs> It's the best ski list ever. Oh, oh no, but for you, you ruined it. You ruined it. Oh, the whole thing's broken down. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm sipping on some tea, watching the riders go by. Wait, where did? how did you fall off? And again. What are we seeing going on here? They just all of a sudden appear at this spot. And why are there flags here? Why do I get a feeling the flags are actually kind of important? <laughs> what is going on? Let's see that again. I've had it sped all the way up. Which is important. And I've got something to show you as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they race to this bit. And then they get teleported magically there. And then they fall down like that. Well, that's not very convenient, is it? <laughs> Let me tell you about the something that I learned. So, up the top here where we've extended this like so... Uh, all of the weight was getting pushed onto one side a moment ago. So if you tweak the positions of them, 
you'll be able to evenly distribute it as you saw there that wasn't very good let's try that again hmm I forgot on how I had it configured before but it basically pushed all of the tension into one spot and if you put them closer together and you know move them about a little bit you can kind of get it so that both of them go yellow and that means that they're evenly being distributed like that not perfectly even but it's a lot better than it all going on one side <laughs> If this works, that's hilarious. Look at the timing. Oh, it's so close. And some fella just fell out of their lift. <laughs> just create a pile of bodies here. Are these supposed to go back to the beginning? Usually we pass the level without that being a requirement. So it's kind of about the positioning and timing of this bit now. I'm half wondering if we should just build like a barricade and try and block them in this area. Let's see if that can do it. I know it's not the proper way to do a level, but I think it would be pretty funny. Alright, pay attention to the left. Bam. And you broke it. You silly sausage, you broke everything. Oh, we got to try again. And again, eyes to the left. Ha! You have been stopped in your track. Now, no! No, we didn't want that to happen. Well, oh. <laughs> All of the skiers have gone up this time, I think. Which means we might have technically completed the level. But now we're going to do it with broken parts, right? Oh no, one of them fell off. Of course you would. You'd fall off right there, wouldn't you? Okay, now they kind of plummet down there and miss the other skiers. <laughs> oh, that's utterly hilarious. Oh, one of them might get back on. I think. Let's hope that no one crashed over here. Oh! Oh, why would you do that right at the end? Did you land in a ski lift? <laughs> I think it landed in a ski lift. <laughs> this level is... Driving me mad, peeps. It's driving me mad. We're going to have to redesign this entire level because I'm pretty sure you need to get the riders back to the beginning. Which is probably what some of you have been screaming in the comments. <laughs> now they, they come like the other direction and bump into that and then go forward. Which is just a huge pain in the butt. And we kind of need to get them to go upwards. And then their skis to come back down because I think we're literally going to have to do something like this. We're going to have to create like something to catch them and then bring them back down this way and then somehow drop them off safely. <laughs> also, is if that thing's in the way, I'm going to scream. That will probably be me done if that thing's in the way. Um, yeah, so literally we've got to make something like this. Now, it might seem like a good idea to just have all of those go into an anchor point, but you want triangles in here as well. Like, well, I can't actually place any triangles, it seems. Well, that just happened. This time I actually got a success. Complete level without any breakages. That's the thing I didn't get. Uh, I was going to record in a moment and say that I've finished my tea and that we're going to knock this one on the head to the end, but we can advance now. I will definitely come back and play this level again at some point because I want to do it properly. So this structure right here, no problems at all, takes the riders up and over the rock. That's fantastic. And then we'll slow it down to see the riders go down the slope on the other side. And then they come to this bit, they bounce, and then we're trying to flip them into this and I can never quite get it right. However, they land on their face. And you know what? If they did the right sort of flip here, they might land on their skis and go forward again. I don't know how you're going to get them to go forward again. I've also just noticed this thing here, upside down. So yeah, that's probably the way that you actually have to do it. And that's probably why we finished, because the riders went through there. And this time we did it without any breakages. <laughs> okay, don't tell anyone, but we just did that with all of the medals. So we never have to play that level again. I can't believe that happened. Uh, what do we got here? A jump? A red jump? Do we want to do that? I think we do. And then we get to unlock two levels after it. So let's go into this one then. Goodness me, that took me a long time. I've got like one sip left in my tea. I thought I'd finished it. I've got a little bit more. So if we want to get all of the stars here in one go, <laughs> are we looking at a loop the loop? Like, oh, free star jump. It's probably a loop the loop. Considering how long I was just playing for, I think I'm going to aim for two of the stars for now and we'll save that for another day. But that's what I reckon it is. What do you think? Let me know. Do you reckon it's a loop the loop? We'll try that on a live stream if so. Um, so we're going to just make our ramp like that, I think. Lots of speed, a little bit of air. Might not make the full length for that. But how do we support this properly is, is the next question. So you can go straight to there. That's really good. And then for the next one, we're going to have another support come out of here. 
good old triangles and then something like that will hopefully be strong enough. I think if we add an extra thing at the top here that'll help. So, oh, 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 where do you want to go? Ah, you can't quite make it, can you? Well, now you can. Excellent. Let's give it a run. <laughs> Down you go, buddy. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And the first star and into the rock, just like I predicted. Just like I predicted, eh? I'm a pro at this. Where are they going now? <laughs> Where are they going now, I say? Tweaks and changes have been made. Not huge tweaks. Hopefully enough to get our rider up here a little bit higher into the sky. And still... Actually, it was kind of pretty much the same jump, wasn't it? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We need to get them a little bit further out there. So we start over again. This time, our ramp is going to come out a whole section at pretty much the same sort of level. Then we're going to start to tick upwards. And then we're going to go for the jump, right? I think that needs to come up a little bit. Yeah, that looks reasonable. Now, supporting it is going to be a little bit trickier. All right, that's looking okay. I've got a feeling that bit there isn't particularly sturdy. Let's add in some extra support just to make sure. Yeah, it looks a little bit wobbly, doesn't it? Please don't break. Oh, it broke it. And we didn't even make it over the rock. So it needs some adjustment, and clearly down here it needs some more support as well. Now you've seen how we've been doing things a lot recently. This, I'm not sure if it's going to work on this type here. Right, now we need to select the red beam. There's like a tiny uh, one pixel bit somewhere that we can select. With this thing properly supported, we should be able to make the jump. I'm also thinking a couple of connections like that probably won't hurt. And look, we're still well under budget, and I reckon most of that budget is for the loop the loop, right? Uh, let's see how our riders fare this time. Okay, it didn't break and... Oh, oh you landed on it. Oh. The second one made it though. <laughs> okay, that was kind of bonkers. So let's, let's give it a little less uplift. Just tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. That's all we need. Micro changes and the results will be different. Right, the first rider comes through. Gets the star. Hits the rock. <laughs> we didn't want you to hit the rock. Now why does the second one do so much better? All right, buddy, you're landing on the rock now. And the one behind you goes perfectly. What is up with that? I think it's this, this structure in general is flexing too much. We need some more supports in here to make it sturdier. Come on, yes, oh, oh, so wasn't, no, that's the second one can't make it. Oh, with a flip. Did you see it? The first rider did a flip. Does that count into the void? Peeps, I'm having one of those days where the levels I'm playing are taking stupidly long. Finally, I cracked it, okay? Finally, this worked. And then I learned that actually we have to get all three stars. This time, they're not bonus objectives. They are the objectives. If we look up here, we didn't get it. We didn't get it, peeps. It's, it's not a rage quit. It's not a rage quit. It's just saying I'm leaving that one for another day, you know? Wow, I've had two levels here taking a lot of time. We've got to do something good, this this one. How about something nice and easy? Vertigo. Well, that sounds pleasant, doesn't it? Let's jump into this level. Let's find out what this one is about. Um, hmm. We start over here, and we've got to go all the way over there, right? Yes. Yes, we do. We've got supports in several places. I'm not trying to build anything. Let's have a look around. So we go above that sign. And then we're pretty much clear most of the way there. I'm going to guess that these smoke clouds are going to cause some problems, right? Well, that looks like it could work right, you know? Goes straight over the top of all of that. Excellent. Let's give it a try. And straight away, you see the problem is slack. It just slacks all the way down. That's really bad. What's going to happen to our skier? Hi. How are you feeling about this one? Are you confident? I don't think you're very confident at all. Oh, almost touching the rock. Going to hit the tree. Clearly going to hit the tree. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> Right, I think we need an extra support in here, and that's probably not going to be enough as well, is it? Now, that is interesting. Why is it interesting? Because this isn't on there from the start. That's just going to prod it up from that point onwards. And perhaps the same should be done over here. Guess we can do that. That already looks way too low, doesn't it? So, we're probably going to have to change that one. So, it comes down. It hits onto that. Right, and that's not really helping it avoid that one there at all. 
At this point, I'm not even sure this level is realistically doable because you go over budget so quick. And I just tried building one of those classic frames using planks, and guess what? You go over budget pretty quick. So I don't think this is going to work. Let's speed it up. It's all about that tree right there. It's slightly above. Oh, this might just work. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. 